We're here in the Bayou City, Houston, Texas. Another season begins to reach its final stages, and several teams have fallen by the wayside, while others are still strong heading into the playoffs. So thanks for joining us as the Jaguars square off against the Texans. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. Number 50 is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by number 85. Should be a beauty with two of the most talented defensive units in the league. We all know the defense wins championship. And we'll be watching two of the best that the NFL has to offer in this one. First and ten. Since both of these teams really get after the quarterback and create a lot of pressure, don't be surprised if we see a lot of takeaways. Stepping up, gets the pass off, and he fails to hang on to that one. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertips. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. We're talking about Rhea. Jacksonville using three linebackers. With the pass, ooh, nearly picked off. And what the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Third and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Jacksonville looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dive. Closing in, gets rid of it, jumps up, and he has it. Number 35 brings him down before he can reach the marker. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin, and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Fair catch made at the 29 yard line. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 29 yard line. First and 10. On the call. The 40. Buckley comes up to make the play at the 47. What a run, netting them a first down. The offense won the battle on the line of scrimmage, and they blew the defenders right off the line. I'll tell you, when your guys up front are playing this well, running the ball is a whole lot easier. Houston comes out in their nickel package. They give it to the halfback. Harmon is there on the stop. The move the change again Third after another long game, game on, on the ground. ground. You know, I was talking to the coach the other day, and he said he wanted to emphasize a run a little more. And that's exactly what we're seeing. First Ball on the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40-yard line. Right, Out of the gun. Look up, look Looking up. for something long. Not the way. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Abraham was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Trying something to the left. He's there for the catch. So they're able to pick up another first down. This offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time.
It's first and goal at the four-yard line. And off to the tailback. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the four. They can't get the blocking they need, and now it'll be second down and goal. Four more yards to finish off the drive with a touchdown. Can he get there? Nice play for Rosen, and it's caught. Harmon is there for the tackle at the one-yard line. Ferguson didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. It's third and goal at the one. Hey, watch the ball. Looking for the goal line. Harmon comes up to make the play at the one-yard line. The offense stalls, but they do have a chance to put three points on the board. Number 50 will put them in the lead if he makes this. The field goal is good. good. And they come away with a field goal on their first drive of the game. They established some things on offense, and they got three points out of it. I'm thinking that we're going to see a lot more points out of them before this one's over. This one is handled by number 85. Houston trying to push this one all the way down the field for the lead. Houston Ball on their own 33. The drive at the 32-yard line. First and 10. Watch out! With the throw. Incomplete pass. A little bit long overthrowing the receiver. He looks a little jumpy back there. One thing you never want to do is look at the rush. You want to keep your eyes downfield. If you start looking at the rush, then you can never be effective. On the 33 yard line. Jacksonville goes with a four man front. With a counter play. Number 59 comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Ball on their own 35. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Tucks it away. Nails behind before he can get it over. The defensive coordinator teaches his guys to be very aggressive out there on defense. He has a lot of confidence in his cornerback. And he's willing to leave them out there in single coverage on an island. So they'll blitz on just about any down looking for a big play. Harmon lines up deep for the punt return. And he waves for the fair catch. The Texans scoop it up and give it right back to them after the fumble on the punt return. I'll tell you, when you're returning a punt, your number one priority is to hold on to the ball. And your defense just made a good stand. And the offense is set to come in and make something happen. And you do something like that. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Breaks free. Number 35 comes up to make the play. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Looking 
seem to run it here. Out is there for the tackle at the nine-yard line. The first and goal, they can't get into the end zone. Drive nine yards away from a touchdown. Hey, watch the screen. Jacksonville using three linebackers. Here the counter play. Pushes off. They'll spot this one at the three yard line. Didn't get the blocking they needed, and now it'll be third down and goal. It's third and goal at the three. The Jaguars with a four-man front. Gets the pass off. He's got it. Touchdown, Texan. Quick connection for the score. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. And so the short drive is capped off with a touchdown. They did a good job of getting into the end zone. Sometimes when your team is in a shortened field situation, the offense comes out a little flat. That time, they came out with intensity. Leckler is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is fielded by Harmon. The last drive stalled and they settled for a field goal. Now let's see what happens. Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Texans come out in a dime package. Dropping back to pass on first down. Branch is there on the stop. And the 24. Lewis makes the catch but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry and they don't miss tackle. Second and six. Ball on the 24 yard line. Right moves in motion. Crosses it right. The 40. The back breaking free. The 40. The 30. Buckley is there for the tackle at the 22-yard line. You know, he's got some good moves, but he also has quick feet. He knows how to do the kinds of things you need to get into the open field. And in this play, he gets into the open field, and he picks up a lot of yardage. adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to the defender. The last time they were inside the 20, they came away with three points. A little misdirection. Ogunwaye comes up to make the play. At the seven-yard line, Irvin. It's the call on the counter, short gain, about a yard. They have seven yards to the end zone. Hands it off to the back. Stroud is there on the stop at the four. 
So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. It's third and goal at the four-yard line. The Texans come out of the nickel package. Pressure coming, stepping up. In those situations where the rush is coming fast, you got to make a quick decision. Do I throw it away, try and hit my guy, or concede to the pressure? This will be a 25 yard field goal attempt. Veteran kicks it through. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Number 50 in to kick this one off. Number 85. He got all of that return. This one is fielded by number 85. The defense looks to rebound after that last effort when they allowed a touchdown. The Texans will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Only one man back. Gets the toss to the right. Number 59 is there for the tackle at the 20 yard line. After one quarter of play, the score is 7 6. Texans. The team's has been signed. So we'll start with the second quarter. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Throwing. Spins away from the tackle. Ingram comes up to make the play. He gets the first down reception and then some. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44 yard. Play football. On the chain, chain. Play hard and fast. The Jaguars with a four man front. Hand it off. Smith is there on the stop at the 47. He's been having pretty good success running the ball so far. I just keep handling the ball. Second and less than a yard. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. He hands it off. Number 59 comes up to make the play at the 42-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. First it's first and ten. And ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Pass play here on first down. With the pass, nearly intercepted. Johnson was his intended target. Second and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. They'll go from the shotgun. With the throw, he hits his receiver. The Texans have moved the ball well on this drive. That's their third first down. Ball on the 30 yard line. Out of the eye formation. 
Direction. It's loose. The Jaguars scoop up the fumble. The defense does a great job breaking that up and getting the recovery. Yeah, they had a good push and they got into the backfield, not letting the runner escape. And that arm came in to crack it loose. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Houston comes out in a 4 3. King comes in motion, looking upfield. Irvin battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pick. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Second and eight. Ball on the 40 yard line. Let's turn it up, D. Houston goes with a four man front. Black is there on the stop. They might not be busted off big game, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Third and six. Ball on the 41 yard line. Perry will work out of the shotgun. Stepping up, down he goes. He just ran out of time. He's got to do a better job of feeling the rush. You always want to keep your eyes downfield. You have to know or feel when that rush is getting to you. You have to have a time clock in your head so you can get the pass off just a beat earlier. Wiley comes into the game for the punt. Number 85 sets up, waiting for the punt. From the 34, midfield. Number 85, showing explosiveness on that return, taking it all the way back to the 43. The Texans will start the drive at the 43-yard line. First and 10. They'll go from the I formation. They are on the stop. Defensive tackle surge through the line to bring the runner down. Six second down and eight to go. On the 41 yard line. Here we come. Let us get The Jaguars come out in a 4 3. Going to the right. Number 35 is there for the tackle at the 33. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Second and five. Ball on the 28 yard line. In and out, in and out. Watch each other back. Tampa. The rush is on. With the pass, he hits his receiver. The 10. Touchdown, Texans. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. The point after is good. That drive began after the good punt return. Right. 
Leckler comes in to kick off. Booming kick downfield. This one is handled by Harmon. Nothing happened for the offense on their last drive as they went three and out. The Jaguars will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. They got nothing. The Jaguars line up in a five receiver set this time. Rose it. And he hits his target. McFadden comes up to make the play. At the 27. Perry completes the pass. Good pickup about seven yards. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Davis, the lone back, dropping back, gets rid of it, and he makes the grab. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. On the 45 yard line. The Texans line up in a 4-3. Black is there for the tackle at the 45-yard line. Good job knifing in there to bring him down. He brings a lot of things to the table. But the thing I like the most is how prepared he always is. I mean, he can run and he can tackle. And he watches so much tape that he actually anticipates what the offense is going to run before they call the play. Hand off to the tailback. Buckley comes up to make the play at the 48. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. The blitz is on. Throwing. Almost picked off. Black had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Wiley will come in now to punt it away. Number 85. Back to return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 16-yard line. First Ball on their 10. own 16. Ball on the 16-yard line. It's on! The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. This one is handed off. This one will be spotted at the 20. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles by going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. Pressure. Jacksonville pulls a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. Switching to a three-step drop might be a pretty good idea. He has to find a way to get that ball out of there a little more quickly. Third and long. Ball on the 15-yard line. Let's go now. From the start, from the start. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Right the ball be smart. Aimed it off to the back. Out cuts him down at the 16-yard line. That third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Leckler is ready to punt this one away. Harmon is the deep return man. From the 44. Harmon returns this one to the 47. Oh. 
So they have first and ten here. Houston lines up in a 4 3. Throws it. They're going to spot this one at the 32. So he adds another tackle and now has six. The result of the play is a I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Throwing. Black is there for the tackle at the 19. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. Kang was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Buckley has the coverage on the ball. Second to ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Go low. Go low. So they're inside the 20. Need to get a touchdown. With the carry. Branch comes up to make the play at the nine-yard line. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. It keeps the same defense on the field. Here comes the blitz. Lewis is there for the tackle. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. Under pressure. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Oh, man. He had it in the end zone but dropped it. One person breathing a sigh of relief. This is a quarterback. It's second and goal at the six-yard line. Urban, the lone back. Drops back. Closing in. Pass goes incomplete. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stumps, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. They're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back to throw. Check it out, baby. Hey, watch the ball. Watch your hands. Pressure coming with the pass. Drops the interception. Boy, none of the defenders can hang on to it. That's the third drop interception on this drive. Yeah, they're all over the field, but they can't come up with the catch it. So this will be a 23-yard field goal attempt. The veteran connecting for the field goal. They get three points closer and trail by only five now. Number 15 is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is taken by number 85. Their last drive ended with a three and out as the offense comes out onto the field again. It's first and ten. Start the drive at the 23 yard line. First and ten. Out of the shotgun. Here comes the blitz. Trying something to the left. And he can't find a way to keep possession. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever claim he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. The Jaguars line up in a 4-3. Hit as he throws. He decided to try and pass it, but he was taking so much heat that it just kind of wobbled out of there. The quarterback doesn't want to force one to get the first. There's a whole nother half to play, and there's no need to try and get it all on this drive. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Hey, let's go. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Deeper than Dropping back. Pressure. Looking deep to the right. 
Ooh, nearly picked off. Close to a big play by the defense. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 39 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. One more, fella. Will, will, will. Davis, the lone back, dropping back the pass on first down. And he intercepted the 40. Perfect defensive ball and a great individual effort by number 55. He has a strong, accurate arm, but he can also be a little reckless with the ball, taking some risk downfield that he really shouldn't. you got to do a little better reading defense. Throwing like that into his own coverage, you're going to get into some trouble. He's just about ready to kick this one away. Squib kick here. From the nine yard line. Keeps his feet moving. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Houston, 17. Jacksonville, 9. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. Just about ready for the second half as they line up for the kickoff. Nice distance. This one is fielded by Harmon. So they have first and ten here. The Texans line up at a 4-3. Gets the toss to the right, and he's brought down in the backfield by Adewale in the good line. Big tackle there for Lawson. Great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. It's second down and a long way to go. Only one man in the backfield. Throws it. Nearly intercepted. He deflected it just in time to avert the completion. The intended receiver on the play. Third and long. Ball on the 13 yard line. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Launches this one to the right. Broken up. Good pressure up front forces the incompletion. We know that the defensive coordinator loves it. And he can drop additional guys back in coverage, but still get pressure on the quarterback. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. From the 49 yard line with the hurdle. Number 85. Doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 41 yard line. They'll 
will start the drive at the 41 yard line. First and 10. Get it, get it, get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. On the ground. Starch comes up to make the play at the 34 yard line. Stringer runs it through the middle again of about six. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Jaguars come out on a 4-3. Let's run, man. They got nothing. He gets the carry. This one will be spotted at the 28. He was in on that play, giving him seven tackles so far in the game. So he gets about five yards and the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. First and ten. Ball at the 28-yard line. Let's go, boys! Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. This side, this side. Gets the handoff on the delay. The ten. Long game, but a touchdown saving tackle is made inside the five-yard line. It's another running play, and they'll pick up another first down. Hey, when things are clicking like this, you just want to keep going for as long as you can. First it's first and goal, and goal at the two-yard line. All right, here we go. Let's go. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. With a counter play. Touchdown. I'll tell you, they just knocked that defensive line backwards on that play. Watch it here. The offensive line explodes off the ball. The defense can't get any penetration, and the runner is in the end zone. great field position and cash in. Yeah, when you give this team field position like that, you can practically take a touchdown to the bank. Leckler will be kicking off. This one is taken by Harmon. This team is going to have to focus a lot more than they did in the first half if they're going to come back. First and ten. Only one man back. A little misdirection. Number 55 comes up to make the play at the 24. Irvin takes the handoff on the counter, picking up five. Second and six. Let's go, let's go. Houston comes out on a 4 3. With a counter play. Wilson is there for the tackle at the 26-yard line. Face mask on the defense. He yanked his helmet down. and it cost him. With his helmet on sideways like that, I bet he thought his whole head had just been readjusted on his neck. Ball on their own 41. The Texans come out of the nickel pack. The gun layer comes up to make the play. His excellent positioning led to that stop behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll do that kind of thing. He's one of the smartest players at defensive end. He always seems to be in position. He uses his hands well. And he has those long arms. And that really helps him shed blocking. The Texans with a four-man front. Go, 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 go. 
with the pass almost picked off. King was the intended receiver on that play. Buckley with the coverage. Third and ten. Ball on the 40 yard line. Come on. Watch him there. Nickelback in this time. Drops back. Pumps once. Gets the pass off. Two tipped passes in a row. King, the intended receiver on the play. Wiley comes into the game for the punt. Number 85, into return. From the 20-yard line. Number 85 returns this one to the 28. Comes out in a 4-3 with a counter play. Number 59 comes up to make the play. Stringer rumbles forward for a gain of four. It's second down and seven to go. The Jaguars come out in a 4-3. Direction spins away from the tackle. Number 35 is there for the tackle at the 37 yard line. Stringer picks up some tough yards there. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Jaguars with a four man front. He hands it off. Smith is there on the stop at the 42-yard line. A nice run on that play. His quick feet allow him to move out of the way just before the tackler can wrap him up. First Three ten. minutes remaining in the quarter. The Jaguars come out of a nickel pack. Justin Smith is the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. Stringer has just gone over the century mark. Ball on their own 45. Jacksonville goes with a four-man front. Hands it off to the back. How is there for the tackle at the 45? Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no game. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. It's third down and seven to go. Let's go, boys! Montgomery out of the gun. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Harmon is back to receive this kick. They'll spot this one where it went out. Been a rough start to this game, but they still have enough time to turn it around. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. What can do, baby? Only one man back. Perry sends a man in motion. With a counter play. Number 55 comes Irvin up to make the, the play at the 25-yard line. The Irvin is having an outstanding day with over 100 yards rushing. Second, 
Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Texans with a four-man front. Ogunwaye hauls him down behind the line. The interior lineman, John, got off the ball very well on that play. Yeah, and the key to stopping that kind of run is exactly that. Whoever fires off the line faster and gets better leverage is going to win those battles at the line. Ball on their own 22. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it. Jumps up and he has it. Buckley comes up to make the play at the 46. This is a good play for third and long. When you get that kind of execution from your offense in a situation like that, you're doing something right. opportunity. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. Right, Houston goes with a four-man front. Great fake with the throw. Knocked away. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Number 36 was his intended target. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Defense, get ready. Let's go. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. A little bit long overthrowing the receiver. That might have had something to do with his follow through. If you release the pass just a little late, you're going to see underthrows or balls thrown into the ground. If you release it too early, and you'll see an overthrow like that. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Wiley will come in now to punt it away. Number 85 sets up to run back the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 15-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Jacksonville lines up in a 4-3. Shakes off the back. Smith comes up to make the play at the 32. These guys that can shrug off tackles are great to have in your backfield. Some of these guys are big and they just run over the defender. While other guys wait until the defender commits and they use a move or a juke or a spin to get out of the tackle. They have the lead, and one big reason is because they've done a real good job on the ground on first down. Not bad. And that success leads to bigger and better things, usually. Stanton is there for the tackle at the 41-yard line. He's looked pretty good so far. It's going to be up to the defensive coordinator to make some adjustment and find a way to slow him down. Second, Second and one, one coming up. Ball on the 41 yard line. Go make the play. Do something, do something. The Jaguars line up in a 4 3. Number 59 is there on the stop at the 42. Solid gain on the draw, and they convert for a first down. He didn't get a huge chunk of yard, but he got past the marker, and that'll bring up a fresh set of downs. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Texans ahead of the Jaguars, 24-9. The Texans are up by two scores and start this fourth quarter with possession. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Nickelback in this time. They give it to the halfback. Stevens is there for the tackle. The offensive line loves to run block, playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. 
Ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. Yeah, you see me. With the counter play. This one will be spotted at the 46. The tackle is his fifth of the game. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First and ten. Jacksonville hey, comes out in a 4-3. Gets the handoff on the delay. Number 59 is there on the stop at the 42-yard line. You know that the guys up front love to run block. All offensive linemen do. Just out-muscle the guy right in front of you. They've done a pretty good job of creating seams and holes for the backs in this one. Ball on the 42-yard line. Stringer, the deep man. Here comes the blitz. Drops the interception. Wayne was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number 22 was there on the coverage. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Out of the gun. Brought down behind the line for a short loss. Houston can't keep their drives going, John. They failed on six third downs. Yeah, they're not calling their best plays on third down, and they're predictable, which makes it easier for the defense to make the stop. Leckler is trying to pin their offense inside the five. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. If they want a shot on this one, they got to put something together on this drive. There just isn't much time left. So they have first and ten here. Steps up, going for the deep man. They like to throw it to the sidelines in situations like that. His throw is just a little long. Ferguson was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Pump faking. Throws it. Swings it out to his running back. Watch this. He stands him up and he puts him right down. That stopped it in your tracks right there. Defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Wiley is ready to pump this one away. Number 85. Looks like he's ready for the return. From the 47. Puts on the juke. Number 85. Takes the punt to the 47 yard line. Ball on the 47 yard line. At the 47 yard line. First and 10. Jacksonville goes with a four man front. Number 59 is there for the tackle at the 40. I'll tell you, he might have one of the fastest first steps in football. He's one of those guys who is patient, accelerates quickly, and is very good at using his downfield blocker. Second and three coming up here. On the 40-yard line. 
They'll go from the I formation. Pull back handoff. Powell is there on the stop. So a gain of about one. They convert on this third down. They have to get it to the 37. The Jaguars line up at a 4-3. Under pressure. Down he goes. He felt the pressure coming, but he couldn't get the ball out. He's got to do a better job of making his read and getting the ball out of there a little more quickly. Leckler will try to have this one stop inside the 10. And he signals for the fair catch. This is where all your guys on offense have to step up and make plays. Time's running out, and they're facing a pretty large deficit. So this is where you're going to have to try and execute and come up with a little luck, maybe. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. And a counter play. Black is there for the tackle at the 29. So that was a pickup of about nine. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. Gets the pass off. It's broken up. Great position and great reaction made that play happen. McFadden had the coverage on the play. Third and one. Ball on the 29-yard line. Keep the throttle down. This is it. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Lewis is there on the stop at the 40-yard line. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time, they needed to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. They give it to the halfback. This one will be spotted at the 40. He wraps up the ball carrier. His tackle total is now four. Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. Out of the gun. Rowing. This one falls incomplete. Harmon comes up to knock that ball out of the receiver's hands before he was able to get control of it. Yeah, we see a lot of footballs popping up when he makes contact. And his instincts know when to deliver the hit and how to do it. Third and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Texans come out in a dime package. Dropping back. Throws it. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He's a competitor out there, and he wants the ball in pressure situations. And you can usually count on him to get the first down for you. This time, he just couldn't hang on to it. Number 85 gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. Again, they're unable to move the ball into scoring position and are forced to punt for the seventh time in the game. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 27-yard line. So they have first and ten here. On the 27-yard line. Hand off to the tailback. Hampton is there on the stop at the 26. The defense came up and stopped him right in his tracks. That's just the kind of thing that the defensive coordinator loves to see. Second and 11. Ball on the 26 yard line. 
They've got receivers bunched together on both sides of the board. is there for the tackle at the 31 yard line he's dominated out there in this one he told me this week at practice that he was going to have a big game and he's really shown us that big playability almost at the two minute mark now the two minute mark. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Jaguars line up at a 4 3. A little misdirection. Smith takes him down before he can get the first. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead. The Jaguars call a timeout. They have two left. Leckler comes into the game for the punt. Harmon lines up deep for the punt return. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 22 yard line. First Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Here they come with the throw. Gets his hand up. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Incomplete pass. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. It might be a little too late. Third and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Jaguars line up in a five-receiver set this time. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Branch has it. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Texans. An excellent play by the defense here in the fourth. Getting the takeaway and scoring. comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. The Texans are now well positioned for a victory with virtually no time left for three scoring drives. Yeah, the defense really needed to force a punt there. They couldn't get it done. This one is over. Shane Leckler comes in to kick off. This one is fielded by Harmon. The Jaguars need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 20 yard line. First down may be where they try something towards the end zone, since they'll have three more downs to work with after that. They'll it's first and 10. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Perry back in the shotgun. The rush is on. And he hits his target. Lewis picks up about four yards on that reception. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Drop 
stepping back. Hits the pass off with the catch. This one will be spotted at the 38. That's the fourth stop he's made today. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. They're coming with the blitz. Throwing. And the catch is made. It brought the heat, but it was a good throw by Perry. That's a heck of a pass. He's got those big old defensive linemen flying right at him, and he showed great composure making the right read and hitting his receiver. He finds his man. Buckley is there on the stop at the 48. They'll go no huddle here. Here comes the blitz. Gets rid of it. Complete to the wide receiver. Perry completes that one, and it goes for about four yards. Ball on the 44-yard line. Ball on the 44-yard line. Hey, hey, Danny, Danny, Danny. Drops back. Throwing. And the catch is made. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice-looking drive here. And they go with a no-huddle. Blitz is coming. Steps up into the pocket. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Number 55 had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Eighth play of this drive. Irvin, the lone setback. Closing in. Going for six. This one falls incomplete. Hey, you don't want to waste too many opportunities like that. King was his intended target. And this is the ninth play of this drive. The Texans come out in a nickel pack. Drops back. Gets the pass off. It's batted away. Perry saw the double coverage, but thought he could get it to the receiver. Hey, watch the screen. Let's go, let's go. Even though it's fourth and long here, they, they're going to go for it. They're blitzing. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. So they fail to convert on fourth down, and that'll mark the end of their comeback hopes. Absolutely. They had to get the ball into the end zone to have any shot at all. Ball on the 32-yard line. Let's go, Beatles. Watch the screen. All on us, y'all. Here we go, baby. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score. Houston, 31. Jacksonville, 9. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden. Wishing you a very pleasant good evening.